Hi guys, welcome to another weekly update. Well, it's not going to be only the weekly update. It's going to be the, the year update because it's going to be the last time uh, we do this in uh, 2017. It went so fast. I think on and all, you know, uh, there were some positive things that happened in 2017. Uh, like the fact that all those sexual predators uh, didn't have a choice. They, they did came out and some things happened to them that uh, they, they had coming. So that's for sure. So that's one thing you see, you, you know, we can see a lot of bad things happening in 2017, but there's a lot of good thing also. You know the tension between uh, North Korea and the U.S.? Well, I think that uh, Trump did prove to us that he, he wasn't so hard-headed, you know. Uh, there's place to uh, to have some, some diplomatic uh, outcomes. Uh, between all of them. So I think it's not that bad. I think that uh, there's a still a way that I think that one thing's for sure. Trump showed us that he maybe he wasn't as crazy as uh, a lot of people thought at first. Maybe it's going to be good for his country. Maybe not. Uh, still a story to follow. Uh, that's for sure. I think we're going to see with everything with his new uh, budget and his new taxation on the American uh, people. We'll see what's going to happen in the next year. In 2018, we're going to know that's for sure. So anyway guys, I think it was a, a, a good year. Uh, for me, well, uh, I did, um, I did uh, came up with uh, the idea of becoming a YouTuber. So uh, I think it's great. I think it, it was a new challenge. Of course, uh, it's the hardest job uh, I ever did, which is the the, the less reward uh, money-wise. That's that's crazy, but on, on a human level, it's incredible how it's fun and it gives me something new in my life. I think I appreciate it. Uh, I think yes, it's a lot of work, but it's something that I like to do. So I think on and all, it's uh, very positive. It's something. Uh, new that I'm looking forward to do in the next year, in 2018. I know it's going to grow and it's going to change. The, there's some interaction between all the people in it that is starting to be uh, very interesting. So I think on and all, I th it's a new challenge for me. It's a, a, a new way of uh, going with the, uh, you know, the, 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 the internet and everything. I, I think it's great. So I look forward to getting to know you and to exchange uh, with you ideas and a uh, new method of painting and building barbecue and what have you not. So I think uh, I look, like I said, forward to what's going to happen next. Uh, I hope I'm going to make some money out of it soon, but uh, the main purpose of it was to leave, you know, my mark uh, for my family and my my grandchildren and so I think that's a uh, mission accomplished. So guys, uh, this week, like I said, uh, this week was very special uh, because, well, you know one thing I never did before. On Christmas Day, I had to uh, pass the snow mob the snow blower in my driveway. Can you imagine the Christmas Day? So. There's two sides of this story. There's a sad side and there's a happy side. The sad side is, well, I don't like snow. Like you might know now, for me, snow is <laughs> white shit. But listen, to each his own. But uh, the, the fact that I didn't have to do the snow blower on Christmas Day, that's crazy. But again, if you like Christmas, to have a white Christmas, that's the best way uh, to have Christmas, that's for sure. So, uh, as you see now, I had to do the, uh, a lot of work on uh, Christmas. That, that, that was a bit strange, but you know what? At this time of year, w when I start uh, at first in the winter, I want to get the hell out of, of Judge, you know? <laughs> I want to get down south and get away from all that, like I say, white shit. But, um, now I, I'm getting used to it, and like I said, YouTube 
takes so much time out of me because I do and I edit 12 videos a week. So I don't have time to think about it that much. And you know, you have to do some activity. And one that we did uh, that was uh, crazy fun, uh, this I think it was uh, Tuesday, something like that. Yeah, I think it was Tuesday. Uh, we we went and slide uh, at my uh, oldest son, uh, Danny, which he did a, a slide that is incredible. I think it's about, it must be at least 300 feet long. And as you see, we had a lot of fun. You know, at art, we're still young children. <laughs> we still want to have fun. And uh, it was so great, you know. And my granddaughter, my first granddaughter, uh, she's almost two years old. Uh, it was unbelievable for her. It's unfortunate that she won't remember it, but I think it, she's going to be more uh, able to, to deal with uh, speed. <laughs> because for this little, uh, this little girl, that was a lot of speed, I can tell you that. But we had so much fun, and like I said, my son <laughs> worked so hard at doing this... Uh, uh, the slide and you you know what it, it's crazy because uh, his girlfriend uh, Marie Lou uh, she's pregnant she's a uh, seven month pregnant so uh, she's getting there so I, I think she, she, it's, it was the last time that maybe uh, she and Danny will <laughs> do an activity without being parents so that, that was kind of nice you, you, you know we had a uh, a lot of fun so that's great you cannot ask for anything better you know to be with your own children and having fun and still be young at art uh, that's that's so much fun and that's something that uh, we leave with um, you know with our children for when they grow and when we're not there anymore so the the fact that we can film it and uh, put it on YouTube and everything I think that's the best legacy that we can leave. So guys, like I said, it was a lot of fun. We did a lot of painting again and again and again. That's crazy. I think I'm going to show you uh, all the paintings uh, again because I showed you uh, a few weeks ago, but it's getting, uh, it's getting crazy. I think I have over, over 60 or 70 uh, paintings. That's great though. I like to do it, but I'm going to have to do a... Uh, to have a locker or something because that that's getting ridiculous but guys you know what i like doing it uh, i like the fact that you're coming more and more and see what we did because uh, i don't want you know i'm not uh, when i do things like uh, building barbecue or like we're gonna build a chopper or or doing paintings i don't want to, to you know to say to people well you do this like that 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 no uh, I suggest a way to do it, and if you have a better idea, well, I hope you're going to share it with me, so I can share it with everyone else. So th that's my main goal, you know, it's sharing. So I think up to now, it's, uh, it's something that we achieved, and it's something that is very fun. So I hope, again, like always, you're going to, you enjoy it. I hope uh, we're going to see each other again. Uh, I hope for you and your family the best of 2018. I wish you a lot of good health. I think that's the main uh, main thing we we can hope for because uh, health is the only thing that matters afterwards. Well, if you can be uh, good with money, that would be also a good thing. Well, guys, on that note, I wish you a happy 2018 for you and your family. And uh, I hope to see you again next year in 2018. So take care, guys. See you in 2018. Ciao.